Hello there. This is Obi-Wan Kenobi here. Today we will go through a quick tutorial on how to create a Torpid model. If you are familiar with this channel, you would know we mostly use Floatron here. The functions of Torpid are different from Floatron. Unlike Floatron, it is a non-regressive flow text-to-speech model, which means that it can produce audio at a much faster pace. Other differences are listed down on the screen as shown here. The TalkNet model can be used to map a person's voice onto a given audio file. Essentially, it acts as a voice changer. Well, since text-to-speech models are our specialty, let us get started. We will run this tutorial mostly on a Google call out notebook. Kindly provided by some individual on GitHub. You would need a Google account, a computer, and a good internet connection. Starting off, you would need to prep the dataset. The file list is written in a similar style to a Floatron dataset. The path to the audio file and the transcription of the audio separated by a straight line like this. Besides the transcription caller linked in the description, you can use a software called XVA Trainer available on Steam. Besides transcription, it has various other functions like audio normalizations and speaker recognition, which is useful for sorting out your data. When you've uploaded the data set to your Google Drive, you can access the Collab Notebook. First, we will set up the environment to train the TalkNet model. By running the first two cells, you would check if your session is connected to a GPU and mount your Google Drive to the notebook. The third step is to verify if the necessary paths are present for TalkNet training. The zip file containing the audio files, the file lists, and the output director. The fourth cell is run to install the necessary tools required to train the TalkNet model. This will typically take around seven minutes, so you can grab a drink of Parisian ale. Just don't do death sticks. Click on the cell below to install some additional packages as well. When all is done with the installation, click Ctrl plus M to restart the runtime. Then rerun step number three. After this step, we will move on to further data processing. The fifth cell is run to convert the text files into a J's or M format. Make sure your file lists point to the right direction. In the zip file or the Google Drive, the JSON file will contain the name of the file, the audio length, and the transcription. Step 6 is where we extract the F0 and duration values of the dataset. Depending on how large your dataset is, this step will also take some time. But with those two steps done, we are ready to train the TalkNet model. There are three components to be trained. The duration, pitch, and spectrogram predictor. Why so many components, you may ask? This is because these are different features that the TalkNet model must be trained on. The spectrogram predictor will take the longest to train. In general, sticking to the default parameters would be okay. Do take note of the batch size, especially if your audio files are on average about 8 or 9 seconds long. Some parameters, such as learning rate, can be modified after a few epochs to increase the output quality. During the process of training, you should check on your trash bin in Google Drive and clear them out. This will save up on necessary files from piling up. You can modify this value to reduce the frequency of checkpoints being saved. Regardless, the final step is then to train the spectrogram interpreter, the Hi-Fi GAN. This step may prove a little tricky, but you first utilize your spectrogram predictor to produce certain NEL spectrograms. These NEL spectrograms will be used to train your Hi-Fi GAN model. After about 2,000 iterations, you can press the stop button and finally move on to saving your TalkNet model. The last cell will acquire all the necessary files and archive them into a zip file stored in your output directory. You can now test out your TalkNet model on a separate notebook. The link to this notebook is in the description below. As directed in the notebook itself, run the cells in sequence. The second cell will take the longest to set up. In the meantime, you can go to your Google Drive and retrieve the URL of your TalkNet model. Remember to set its accessibility to anyone who has the link. When the environment is set up, you would see an interface like this. Under the character selection drop-down, select custom model. A text box would appear below for you to input the drive code. Access the files on the side and upload the reference audios you want to use to map your voice on. The huge box below is where you input the text for the model to read out. If you wish to use it as a regular text-to-speech model, you can disable the inference audio. The auto-tuning option and input picture options can be used for singing voices. There are other things to explore about TalkNet, but I won't go into more detail. YouTube has some other videos that do so, 
and I have linked some in the description below. That is it for this rather short tutorial. If you are interested in whatever this is, do like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and may the force be with you.